Hey guys, so I'm back with a video today and I did like a purple kind of looks futuristic that wasn't the plan but yeah, if you like this look then keep watching Okay, so today I will be using the Memo Mitchell palette by Billy Bay I bought this in Black Friday and it's like March and I've only used it once <laughs> But I think this is a great palette because you can use literally every colour. These are the colours I go for. I don't, I'm not a nude kind of person. So having like a pink, a red, an orange, a blue, a colour of basically the rainbow. <laughs> it's great. Last night I dyed my hair, you can't even see it, half purple, half blue. This whole bottom row is basically purple. So you have a dark matte called Morgan. A nice lilac, that is my favourite colour. Lilac. It's called Miles High. And then you've got like a plum purple called Motto. And then this last colour, it's like a glitter, it's like, it's like a dewy, dewy chrome. It's called Mega. I might start with Miles High just to get like a nice base colour. Oh my god, this is such a beautiful lilac, it's coming out really pastel oh my god I'm in love that is beautiful so next I think I'll go into Morgan because it's lighter and go into Motto because of the deep plum I could put in the outer corner for like a smoky look and then maybe do may go in like the inner corner maybe I'll do a cut crease for the glitter I've actually used one of the glitters before and it was horrific it just wouldn't pick up on the brush it wouldn't stick on my eyelid so I think that was the colour marine the white one there so I hope the purple doesn't do the same Oh my god, these are the kind of purples I'm in love with. The shades are just beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, and last night I also painted my nails purple. Living the purple life. Just using Benefit's highbrow pencil to highlight the under eyes. You could use concealer, but yeah. I just want to use this colour. Morgan is beautiful. Okay, I think it's the best time now to be doing the cut crease. So then if I can do the dark purple and outer to hide any harsh lines. So I pray this works out because I don't have faith in that purple. I'm gonna take another flat brush and just basically paint this glitter on. A lot darker than I thought it would be. I thought it would be quite light. Oh, now my cut crease wants to transfer. Great! I don't think it's good at all. It's more like a paste, like when you move it in the palette, it spreads really easily. Like it's kind of wet. I might not even have to go in on the owl corner. I just used Morgan and Mega, these two. It's pretty. This glitter is a bit flaky. I don't know why. So to bring this look in, let's do the brows. I just use a nail pencil. Just 
just taken a brow gel from Barry M. Next, let's go in with concealer. I'm using one from MUA. And maybe just to brighten under the eyes. As my bags are like, I have not been sleeping lately. I've been staying up to like, 5 a.m. and you're waking up at like 3 p.m. Okay, so it's time for foundation, but I can't be able to put that liquid cakey foundation on. So I'm just going to use my MAC powder foundation. I don't use this as much as I should, but it is bomb. It gives you full coverage and you don't have to powder later. I just want to get rid of my like, breakups really, so. No foundation, foundation. Okay, it kind of looks the same. It's like concealer. <laughs> And this bronzer is like non-existent. Ten years later and you'll get it done. Which is why I'm selling it on my Depop. Or <laughs> it's going in the bin, honestly. You can barely you can't even see anything. Why do I look so pale? I faked tan last night, so maybe that's why the powder's in that. Is that okay, my shade? And I'm not someone that buys like a, a fake tan foundation. I literally just wear my foundation. Sometimes I'll like blend the fake tan in with the foundation to darken me. Or use a darkening mixer. But You know what, this is as good as it's going to get because this this is why I'm sending it because I just don't like it. Where is it? But I have about like a dozen of purple highlighters. Today let's you use MUAs. I have the Jeffree Star's purple one but I just I never use it. Is there any point in putting highlight on me? You can't even see my bronzer. Damage. Let's use Miss Sporty's Insta Glow bronzer because exactly that's what I'm talking about. Two seconds and it's done. in 20 minutes just to put some bronzer on let's put some lip balm on I don't know what I'm doing for my lips oh. okay let's put mascara on and put some lashes on any mascara will do because you're not gonna see the mascara I'm using Clinique's Travel size, high impact mascara. Okay, so the lashes today, brand new, unopened. It's Tati Lashes TL5. These are pretty some good, bold lashes. Just waiting for the glue to dry. lashes <laughs> look so heavy on camera oh there's some little 
lashes drying, I think we should go to lips. I'm going to use Anastasia's Beverly Hills lipstick in Clover. It's actually really, really light compared to my <laughs> makeup. Um, okay, that's a bit light. I feel a bit alien y. Let's use Jeffree Star's Eye Royalty. It's just a. I'd make it a little bit darker. I haven't completely put like overlined it so it's a mixture of both of them oh them two colours are quite good a dark a very dark purple compared to a light purple it gives you like a nice medium I bet it is rumbling like I know I haven't eaten all day and it's like five o'clock <laughs> pray with me Okay, put the bottom lash on this one. But yeah, I think I'm done with this nice purpley look. Why do I look like so gothic? In real life, I'm loving this look, but... Oh, I've got lipstick all over my teeth, great. Love that. It's not normally sank I would do in terms of the order. I would normally do like foundation first, powder, liquid, all this. I feel like I kept it a bit natural for me. This is natural for me. And yeah, hope you guys liked it. And until then, I'll see you guys later.